Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today, we're going to be doing Pizza Tower. Now, as you may see here on, on this first file, I have played this game for a good while, ever since it came out. Uh, and guess what? This is actually my second take for, on this Let's Play, because the original take I did was right after I beat the game for the first time, which was at like 70% completion, if I had to guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, so here's the game. Uh, let's, let's talk about a bit of information before we get into it. So, this game came out in 2018. Well, not 20. Blank. This game started development in 2018, roughly. Either that or 2017. Uh, cannot remember. Uh, and I've started following this game since 2020, ever since, uh, I found, that, found this game through Frame Maker, surprisingly enough. And being a Wario fan, this game is perfect for me because this is essentially a spiritual successor to, to the Wario Land franchise. Well, this and Anton Blast, which I did actually uh, participate on the, uh, well, I missed the Kickstarter, but I was able to uh, donate through the pledge box, so. Uh, uh, ho hopefully the guys at Summon Spear, hopefully the guys at Summon Spear actually, re actually put my name in the, uh, in the backers uh, credits, since I technically backed their game through pledge box. Anyways, anyways, so this game is essentially a mix of Wario Land combined with uh, like the momentum uh, mechanics of Sonic the Hedgehog, the shine spark of, of, of the Metroid games, uh, with the animated art style akin to Ren and Stimpy and Courage the Gallery Dog and other late 90s cartoons, and uh, a, a funky fresh uh, uh, fast paced music score. Made by Mr. Saltzman in Classic Ditto, which, which if which if uh, if we were to put this in an album with like music made by Hideki Naganuma, it would probably fit, in my opinion, considering the amount of samples they used. Anyway, enough of this. Let's just let's just speed through the tutorial. Speed run time. So what we just collected there is the toppings. Uh, so toppings are required for game progress as every time you save, as when you complete the level after saving, saving them, uh, they give you $10 each. Uh, now, what is money used for? To unlock pulse games. Uh, in, or uh, in order to progress through the floors, you have to beat bosses. See what I mean there? Now this let's play, I'm gonna be obviously going, going to collect all the toppings. Uh, and, and on top of that, I'm going to be going for all the, uh, all the tower treasures. Because by collecting all the tower treasures, you get the good ending. Uh, now I won't, I will not be going for every single secret. Uh, each level has three secrets. I will not be going for every single secret, just mainly because, well, mainly because for Mainly because uh, I don't remember where all of them are. I know where most of them are, but I'm not going to waste time trying to find a secret when I can just uh, breeze through the game. Now, in this game, you can actually throw enemies. Uh, if you grab an enemy while while dashing, uh, you do a, a while swing ding. You can do uh, you can do a pile driver. There's a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do in this game. Now this game does have a combo system. Uh, you only you only have to worry about that if you're trying to go for points to get an S rank in levels or P rank. Lap two portals are unlocked already. So I, I you know what? Because I got lap two portals unlocked. Uh, let's just go through the first level. Uh, John Gutter. So before so before we actually get to the meat of the level itself, let's just go through here. Uh, so see, see this portal? During pizza time, which is the game's escape sequence, which is which is obviously uh, based off the escape sequences from Warrior Land 4 and Warrior Land Shake It, technically, but mainly Warrior Land 4. Uh, during the escape sequence, uh, if you're crazy enough or have plenty of time, you can go for a second lap to get uh, to get more points. Cause you, well, you get a extra. 3,000 points added to your score. And if you want to go for S rank, 
you're gonna you're gonna need uh excuse you, I'm fucking here. Uh you're gonna need to go for a second lap, especially if you're trying to go for P rank. Now collecting uh, now collecting the uh that uh, what do you call it? Those like mushrooms and stuff. Uh brings your combo meter uh, back to full. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, there's taunting in this game. Uh, taunting is important for a few reasons, especially if you're trying to go for P ranks. Uh, for one, if you get near an enemy that's about to attack you, just like that, you can parry their attack. I Meaning you get to keep your score and add an another uh, number to your combo meter there. Uh, now, I'm gonna try and go for, for P rank. If I, if I fail, uh, then I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, yeah, you have an uppercut. I'm doing a bad job of controlling, uh, explaining the, the control. Then again, the, the game doesn't really tell you can do the uppercut. Uppercut's really useful for, like, dodging stuff. So, for, for these first few levels, I do know where all the secrets are, so I'll definitely be doing them. But, uh, left on the uh, Swedish monkey's banana peel. I think that's what the monkey's uh, called. Love that part of the song where the game just, just flat out says monkey. Uh, in the original uh, version of the song, it's actually, the sample actually comes from uh, the voice act, well, the actor for Bowser in the, uh, the old Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, so, in order to... So, in order to get access to the secret treasures, you're going to need to get Jerome, the other janitor. He'll, he'll unlock a very special room for you. Anyway, we're in pizza time now. We're just going to speedrun this a bit. Because like, I know I'm going really fast, but... Uh, but, in, uh, in pizza tire, you have to go really fast. Anyway, let's get let's let's get us our first uh, tower treasure. That being butter. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, there's a super tall. Uh, if you get a combo of ten or more, you can do the super tall. Anyway. Uh, we got all the secrets uh, for this level. Also, that is a really mean fork dice spawn, by the way. I would like to point that out. Uh, whoever, whoever, whoever programmed to spawn that guy there, uh, I hope you stub your toe for the next, uh, for the next few weeks. Oh, did I, oh, did I lose a combo at some point? Oh, well, I guess, like, well, I guess I'm getting S rank. That's not a big deal. Damn, how, how did I lose a combo? Anyway, when you're, anyway, I won't be going for lap two for every single level. Like, if I think I can do it, then I'll probably go for it. But I'm not going to be... But that's not going to be part of the requirement here. Now, what happens if you lose time or run out of time? Uh, pizza face right there. You see, as you may see, he is currently sleeping. But, uh, he is currently sleeping, but, uh, yeah, he wakes up and he'll start chasing after you. If he catches you, it's a, uh, well, I, well, I, what I mean instant game over. Uh, oh yeah, pro tip. Uh, during the escape sequence, if you want to get more points, just pawn in front of the, uh, exit gate. Uh, anyways, uh, if Pizza Face catches you, it's basically instant game over, and when I mean game over, you just, you get an instant time up and you have to retry the stage again. Anyway, that's the first level of John Gutter. 
Uh, hold, hold the top button. You do a little break dance. Anyway, uh, I know everything's going by super fast, and I apologize. Uh, up oh, there's uh, Gustavo being chased by a rat. Anyway, here's the next level. Uh, so welcome to Peace Escape. So Peace Escape, uh, Peace Escape Ancient Cheese, which is the next level, and Blood Souls Dungeon, which is the level after. Technically, that comes after. Uh, get back here, oh. asshole. Uh, anyway, the level that comes after uh, Ancient Cheese are all part of the 2019 stage set. And that's how and, and that's how I got most of my piece of power fixed for a good uh, three years. Because remember, because I mentioned earlier, I uh, started following this game around uh, 2020. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if he saw during John Gutter, but we did get an achievement uh, during that. I'm not going to go for all the achievements. I, I'm pretty sure the... I forgot I had access to Super Thon, but that makes things easier. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going for all the achievements, even though, uh, even though achievements are required for 100%, which I'm not really doing anyway. But I, but I am planning on redoing this Let's Play uh, when the next playable character comes out, because the devs have confirmed that there's a, another playable character playing for the game. Don't know when he's going to come out, but the gimmick for that Let's Play is that I'll be playing as the new playable character and I'll be going for all the secrets. Uh, essentially 100% with Val really do 100%. Anyway, the night transformation. Uh, so, the way it works is... Is that... Oh, so close. Damn. So, you go down slope. Uh, you go down slope. Uh, you automatically slide. And you don't stop until you hit a wall. Uh, when you're in the air, you can do a downward thrust. There is an achievement for this level where you have... To... God damn it. I was able to do this uh, in the original take. This actually... Yeah, actually, this is technically the third take of doing this. Well, third take of doing this first episode, second take of doing this entire Let's Play. Uh, something happened in the, in the uh, first take that... Of course, we did restart it, and that's and I'm only gonna elaborate as such. But yeah, there's an achievement for this level where you have to get to every single pizza priest. Uh, I or actually, actually I, I call them pizza. I actually call them pizza pope. Wait, wait, that counts as getting that achievement, even though I technically didn't kill the enemy in ball form. That is hilarious. Anyways. Yeah, so there's there's an achievement for getting to all the pizza posts uh, without walking into a wall. No, obviously I failed that, and obviously I can care less. I already got on my uh, on my uh, personal on my personal uh, file. And one thing I will say, if you're, if you're trying to do like some of these more harder achievements, uh, I just if it's something like don't walk the walls or uh, or don't land in the lava or something like that. Just, just, uh, I think it's, it's a, it is in your best interest to, uh, avoid seeing the secret, because if you, let's just say you fall in the lava or bomb into a wall, as in my form, in the secret, it count it counts towards the achievement, thus, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, it instantly fails you, uh, for the achievement you have to fall over. Now, obviously I'm not going for the achievement, so I could care less. But there's, but might as well just give you these tests while I'm at it. Uh, what else? So, if you're interested in this game, uh, well, obviously, obviously buy it. I think they fixed the, if you're outside of the US, I think they did. I think they, I don't know if they already fixed the pricing for it. They might have not yet. Oh, I'm, actually, I think they, they did not. I don't think they, they, yeah, yeah, they did not fix the price for this game. Uh, well, it was supposed to be twenty dollars uh, across all countries, 
but Steam, but Steam, uh, Valve, it, Steam is kind of stupid when it comes to pricing and made the game a lot more expensive in other countries than what the devs wanted it to. Not that a lot of people really mind it because they would rather pay more for this game because it's that good. But if you don't want to pay, like, but if you don't want to pay, uh, whatever the equivalent of, like, uh, 20 pounds it is or, uh, 20 euros or, uh, or whatever, whatever the hell, uh, the currency is in Brazil, because the game's, like, crazy expensive over there because of this, uh, price of screw-up. Uh, also, that's our second, uh, tower treasure, by the way, it's Spaghetti. Uh, fun fact, our character's name is Pepino Spaghetti. What kind of person has Spaghetti your last name? But yeah, yeah. If you're if you live outside the U.S. and don't want to pay that mu much, uh, I suggest you wait until till uh, February 20. I would I would say February 26 or 27. Actually, February 27 seems uh, seems sound correct because that's exactly one month. Uh, after this game has released. I, I really hate Fortnite so much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going for uh, the S rank for this level. I'm... I mean, like, in general, I'm not going for S rank for all the levels, especially, especially when I haven't S ranked all of them yet. But there's, there's a few I know I can, I can do, because they're actually pretty easy to do. Uh, let's see. Well, I might, might as well talk about the original tech I did for this game. Uh... So I mentioned that the first take of this Let's Play I did was after I beat the game for the first time. So my skills weren't really that good. Like, good enough to beat the game, but I also, I did not memorize where all the uh, tower treasures were and did not know where most of the sequences were. So. so to me, that Let's Play just wasn't really the greatest. There we go. Very easy secret. Ow. Goddamn pepperoni goblins. Oh. There we go. Yeah, once you once you play the game for a while, you kinda learn how they how the how the movement of the uh, how the game goes and I think the game gets really fun once you understand uh, how everything works. And it is a really big adrenaline rush when you're trying, when you're trying to, like, go for P rank and all that. Like, I remember my heart was pumping when I was, uh, P ranking John Gutter. Like, yeah, yeah, I know that's, like, the first level in the entire game. So P ranking is pretty easy, but it was still... But the pressure is still on because... Because if you... Because as soon as the combo ends, you go down from P to S. There we go. Oh, that's satisfying. Just killing a bunch of enemies in one go. Anyway. Uh, bombs. Am I right? Uh, from these, from these, uh, piece of box problems. Now, I should probably explain these rat enemies. Uh, th these rats, by the way, are called stupid rats canonically. And I mean, like, I guess they're, I guess they are stupid, but, oh no, they're, they're kind of funny looking. Too bad you have to kill them all the time. Uh, the only way you can kill them is using transformation or stuff like bombs. Like, stuff that isn't your basic attack. Hence making them more. Hence making them more or less. Uh, 
Plus, making them more of obstacles rather than enemies, because all they do is kind of block your way. Uh, now one thing, now one thing you will not be seeing in this playthrough would be the unlockable outfit, and that's just because I already have them unlocked from my first time playing. Now, if I remember to, I'll explain how you, well, maybe, maybe, maybe in the final episode, or actually maybe even during, during the last play, I'll probably, uh, show up to all the outfits. Uh, anyway, this is one of, one of, like, few levels in the game where you actually can go ahead and get the treasure way... Way before, way before, uh, way before Peach Pie. Now, the mo majority of the time, pe most people will go out, go get the treasure during Pizza Time because it's easier that way. Certain levels, I feel, it's easier because it's, it's actually pretty easy to forget. But then there's some levels, like some levels, I remember to go for it. And, but then there's other levels where I completely forget that I have to do it. Anyway, let's start pizza time. Before we do that, let's look at our third secret here. There we go. We gotta get out of here. Okay, can I tell the game is is uh, chugging a bit on my end, or yeah, I can't I can't tell the game is just kind of looking a bit choppy. Sometimes you can actually, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. When you're, when you're going really fast, it is actually really easy to accidentally, uh, jump. When you don't do that. Now, now, in case if you don't know where you're going, like Gustavo and sometimes Mr. Stick, will show up to let you know uh, where to go to get out of here. Such helpful friends they are. Oh, I do not want to be in an area where there's two bombs. Get up there. Shit. Yeah, I'm not going for s -ring for this level now because of hijinks like this. Stuff that really shouldn't happen, and yet it happened anyway. Also, these enemies are really annoying as well. Yeah. And normally, if you're, uh... Like, if you want to go for S rank, my best... My best advice, advice I can give you is to just, is to just go for, uh... Honestly... Just, if, if you have more than a minute and a half left on the clock, you should be fine to go ahead and do it. But anyway, we have plenty of time, so we can get the final level done. Which, I think on my original take, I think I only got the first three levels done. In the first episode. So, well, looks like I have to make new thumbnails now, but... Eh, I mean, it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, now, anyway, they changed the music for this in the uh, in the final version of the game because apparently it has some apparently had a copyrighted uh sample from intergalactic i forget i forget i forget who did that song i think it's like gorillas or something i don't i don't know my music too well i apologize but uh yeah whoever did intergalactic uh, they used samples uh from the actual song itself so they couldn't use it like and I don't I don't know how how copyright law is when it comes to sampling, but yeah. Up oh, music it. All the sound effects are. Yeah, that I know that's it. I cannot tell if that's just my computer being stupid or if that's a bug with the actual game. Chances are that might be an actual bug with the game.
Anyways, this is the, this is the stage's gimmick. Uh, rolling pizza cutters like that, which are really annoying. Uh, even more annoying when there's an achievement where you have to go through the entire level without getting hit by one of them. And then the and then the actual blood salts themselves, which isn't too bad, but there is also achievement to not land at that. This is what Dylan is, by the way. Uh, yeah, honestly, both of those achievements are really hard just because, like, uh, the, the level, the, uh, Blood Ball achievement is a lot easier. Unless you're right, unless if you're an idiot like me. But it's a, it's a lot easier to do because the Blood Ball is actually a lot easier to avoid. Now, as, I'm, as I stated, if you're going for these achievements, uh, it's... It's in your best interest to avoid the, the, uh, the secret room, and that's just and that's just because uh, getting hit by uh, any of, any of this any of the stuff in the secret room counts towards uh, actually legitimately counts towards like if you land in the lot in the uh, blood falls in that secret, uh, it big. Landing in the Blood Falls of that secret makes it where you no longer get the achievement because you technically land in Blood Falls in Blood Falls Dungeon. Anyway, here's another level where you can actually feasibly uh, get the uh, the treasure before uh, pizza, pizza time. I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway. Get out of here. Also, my favorite detail about this game, sometimes uh, when the enemies uh, see you charging at them at mock speed, they actually, like, you actually hear like a stock scream and it's really funny. Like, ah! it's, re it's really funny. Like, this game literally just, it's almost like it, it comes straight out of a cartoon. I almost forgot about secrets. Anyway, welcome to. Anyway, welcome to. Welcome to the fuck you uh, secret. This is what this is. Yep. If you're going, <laughs> if you're going for, if you're going for the uh, avoid getting hit by all these, uh, all those pizza cutters achievements, like avoid the pizza cutters achievements. Ah, uh, yeah. Avoid that secret at all costs. That, that would be the bane of your existence. Alrighty. And... It's pizza time. Be sure... To make your escape easier, be sure to... To, to flip your... Uh, the side of your wall climbing on. Oh yeah, one thing I should mention about this game's mechanics. Uh, while while you're while you're mock running, jumping on a wall makes you automatically wall climb. Uh, if you if you dash grab into a wall and hold the uh the mock run button, you also automatically start climbing. Uh, that's that's something you should keep in mind, and it will really help you out if you're in a pinch. Uh, if you if you're running up a slope, that also uh. If you're running up a slope, that will also automatically uh, make you run up the, uh, what do you call it? It'll automatically make you run up the wall. Uh, now, I think I, now I, now I don't remember how I mentioned this, and I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but this game soundtrack is really good. Like, I would like, I would like to con congratulate uh, Mr. Saltzman and Fussy Judo. For a job well done uh, on the soundtrack. Well, and post album is part of the title screen, but most of the soundtrack was, was done by uh, Mr. Saltzman and. Uh, it's done by Mr. Saltzman and Classy Kiddo. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's go let's go let's go for a second lap. We have plenty of time. And of course I do a 
And of course I flub up right there. Well... Anyway, yeah, if you go, if, yeah, if you're going for a second lap, then you, and you're per, so pretty new for this game, this is essentially a death wish, so, uh, good luck, I'm rooting for you. Anyway, I'm going to get s rank here, because I, because I know I didn't grab everything in that, uh, secret. What am I doing? I have to go this way. Am I going to be able to make it? <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, piece of face. Fuck you. Fuck you. <sighs> we did not get S rank, but that was a close, that was a close call, though. A very close call. Oh man, hopefully, hopefully you guys, hopefully your guys' brains aren't rotted from that episode, because whoo, that was a lot to take in. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this very first episode of Pizza Tower. If you're, uh, if, you, if you're enjoying the content that I do, like this Let's Play formula, then, uh, please consider, please consider subscribing, because I would really appreciate it. It'll help my, and help my channel grow. Uh, if you're interested in Pizza Tower, I'm going to be leaving... Uh, the Steam page for the game and the game soundtrack uh, in the description for this entire Let's Play. So, so if you're interested in this game and, but don't want anything else spoiled to you, well, stop watching this video right now and go and go buy the game, damn it. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be dealing with, with this uh, world's first boss and move on to the second floor. With that being said, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good morning, afternoon, and night. And I'll see you on the flip side. Buh-buh.